and we're live. Let me tell you guys something. Everybody want to be a reseller so that everybody hop in the resale game. That's why the resale game is so fucked up. So fuck you all. Okay guys, so it's really busy in the store today. I don't know if the mic is blurring out the noise, but people are playing the game. But uh, this morning, Chase and I woke up at, I woke up at 8 to be at Shoe Plaza at 9.30 and they didn't open until 10. They really opened at 8 a.m. Anyways, so I woke up super early, showered, didn't get tropical smoothie line, was too long, bought every big cupcakes. So today was the Shattered Backboard 3.0 release and I got a personal and Chase got a personal and now he's getting a phone call so he's not that important in the video. But now we're doing a review on um, my personal opinion. Um, if you guys don't know, I love ones. Live and breathe for ones. Any ones that come out, I need. And I still am looking for a black toe satin, eight and a half, please. And I already got the zoom fly, uh, the pink zoom fly. So thanks for nothing, because none of you guys helped me. But at the point, so I'm a size seven. So this is a grade school pair. <laughs> Doing great, guys. So, <laughs> so, um, you know, I don't really know these like leather things or whatever you want to call it, but like, I don't know. I just bought it because it's one and I have shattered backboards, but satins. Woo! And, <laughs> and they're uh, pretty beat, so I had to get these. If I didn't get these, it would have been tragic. But yeah. Here they are. I can do it on feet, but then I'd have to lace them. And then it sucks because I lace mine really tight. But um, I think that's the tea, no sip. Uh, I think Chase can explain like the leather to you because when you open up the box, it does not smell like one. It's so annoying. That's like my favorite part of ones is the smell. So here comes Chase saving the day. So I wanted to get two pairs because I want to mat out like one pair. Sorry, Chase couldn't save the day. He doesn't know what he wants me to do. <laughs> Alright, so oh, for any of you guys that drive or have cars and have ever like washed your car and then put like, tires shine on the spray at the end and make your tires all shiny for like a couple <laughs> days and end up getting on your car or whatever, that's what it looks like happened to the shoe. No, it doesn't. It, it almost looks like it's a shattered backboard with like a cream bottom and then they put like tire shine, armor all, something over the top. It almost is like a like a tumbled patent leather. I think that's gonna be the best description for it. It's soft. It's not like as hard as it looks, anything. It's soft, but it's like tumbled leather. We'll get you like some detailed up close images of the shoe and show you guys. But um, there is a thing going around. You guys are gonna see a lot of it on YouTube and a lot of people's pairs. You'd be like, those look a little different. Um, Angelus Paints sells, I think it's like a lacquer thinner or something like that. Don't quote me. Um, we'll actually find what it is. We'll add it to the video right here. But they're spraying it over the shoe and it takes away the shine. It makes it matte. It makes it look more like the OG shatter backboard. Of course, this one's going to be different. Um, pause right there. I'll get you a shatter backboard and show you a side by side. Pause. Unpause. All right. So here's an OG shatter backboard. You can see, you know, the difference of the white here and the black here, the difference of the color of the soles. That's a good photo. Thumbnail? Yeah. Thumbnail. Um, we're going to get you guys some B-roll of the shoe, go around it, and then I think the rest of this video, we are going to go out to the car, get all the pairs we bought this morning, show you guys an abundance of them and then bring them into the store. And maybe throughout the day, we're just gonna like hold the shoe up and ask people their opinion of it. So you guys can see what, you know, the general census of the public is on the shoe. Everybody's saying it's ugly. So that's the general sense. And period. Like I did this. One's orange. What? It's orange. Yeah, but what would you rate out of 10? In my opinion, out of 10, I give it a five. Five? 
This one looks so much better. Well, yeah, this is the OG side of the backboard. This is a 3.0. It's a OG for a reason. Okay, what about this one? Which one? Oh, wait. Oh, side note. So, everywhere we went to today... Where did the, where'd you get those from, brother? Where'd you buy those from? Hey, how'd you, how'd, how'd you get those? Aren't, did those come, this haven't came out yet. And I was like, this guy is sitting down at Meadows Mall. If you're watching this, you probably aren't, but he was literally sitting here waiting for people like, to clean his shoes. He's at the shoe cleaning kiosk, and instead of asking me to clean my shoe, he's like, hey, hey, No, no, hey. literally he was like this, like the whole time, like, hey, brother, brother, and I was like, Chase, Chase. I get stopped a lot for people to try and clean either my shoes or my watch, so I don't necessarily ignore them. I just kind of tune them out. Like I don't, I'm just walking, I'm trying to get to the next store to buy more pairs. Whatever. He walks too fast. So I was then behind I turn him. And he's like, "Yo, how you got those?" Or those haven't came out yet. And I was like, "Yeah, next week, whatever." That's the what you say? That's the tea. No sip. <laughs> you're a sip. <laughs> no sip. Yeah, you're still a sip. Sip. C S I P. C C. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, this is uh, concluding our video because we're not gonna ask anybody their opinion because we know what they're gonna say. No, I will. No, we're not. I'll do it. This is it. This is the t this is the Tino sip, baby. This is the review. What if we want to sip? Uh, you can't. So I'm gonna put it on feet for you guys. I'm not gonna lace it. This looks better. And that's that's it. I think I do. I might want to buy another pair of matted out. So you might see both of those coming soon. And thanks for watching our messy video. Get in here, Chase. Cheese. Lettuce. Cheese. I can't say cheese on vegan. Oh, I'm sorry. Lettuce. Lettuce. guys so shattered backboard 3.0s um, we did this whole video showed you guys a shoe on feet everything I just wanted to kind of come today's the next day you know outfit change whatever got the uh, uh, came with my foot up there got the nice kick ultra boost on match this tee pretty good um, memo's over there talking crap all right um, so what I wanted to touch on with the Shattered Backboard 3.0 is another one of them. Uh, this is my personal pair, size 12. But um, what I wanted to talk about with this is for those of you guys who have been in the sneaker game a lot longer, kind of like been around more of the releases, you guys will notice on the inside of the shoe, it just has a black insole. Uh, I don't know if you can pick it up with the light. Um, the Shattered Backboard, OG that everyone desired once going for like twelve thirteen hundred dollars now, but um The shattered backboard OG inside the insole is like a special shattered back in shattered backboard insole and then I Don't know if the reverse shattered has that same insole. It does um, I'm gonna see if I can find a photo online and put it up here so you guys can see this one just has a black insole with the orange Nike air um, so Everyone, Stock X, everyone who's reselling these is calling them Shattered Backboard 3.0s. Um, there's a big thing going around. I don't know if you guys have heard of it or not, but on Nike, on sneakers, this shoe is just called Jordan 1 Black Orange. Then on anything that Nike has to do, they have not called this shoe a Shattered Backboard. The style number, SKU number, nothing of it says Shattered Backboard. Um, with this whole day and age and like current resale and everything, StockX has Shattered Backboard, so the whole world's gonna call it Shattered Backboard. But um, that might be something that might affect resale and kind of like long-term holding the shoe and trying to wait for it to go up in value. Being that the fact of it not being a Shattered Backboard means it shouldn't go for those crazy prices. I mean, it's a black and orange shoe with a cream sole that came out in, you know a week before Halloween. The timing and everything is great for it. Um, the colorway is like a shattered backboard, but this shoe itself is not a shattered backboard. 
um, everything that I've read up and everything. So I think this might not be the best shoe to hold. Don't get me wrong, I've got 20 plus pairs of my own that I am going to be holding on to. They all are range from eight, eight and a half, and nine. And I'm just gonna let those sit and hopefully they go up. But um, any of the bigger sizes, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of, sell them for whatever market is. And any of my grade school pairs, I got a lot of five and a half, six and a half, and sevens. I might hold the five and a halfs, but the six and a half and sevens, I'm probably gonna just go ahead and let go of. Um, but I just wanted to drop that little bit of knowledge, a little bit of, you know, information that I had been getting and hearing and looking up into. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys didn't get this shoe, you guys might want to. You don't want to miss out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. I think I'm, I think the next video is going to be either Complex Con Long Beach if we decide to go. There's Day in Vegas in Las Vegas this next weekend. Travis Scott, a bunch of performers. And there's also, I'm planning on doing uh, my top five shoes in my collection uh, video and then kind of giving you guys like more in depth look at my personal sneaker collection. But uh, stay tuned for that. Appreciate you guys. Make sure you, you know, give this video a like. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe.